Welcome back, everyone. It's a tier six game on Sand River Encounter Mode, and I am in my T49. We're going to do a little thing unusual with the T49 here. So, sorry about that. Okay, back out of fixed camera. First of all, T49, excellent scout. Let's go scout this ridge line and come back to normal speed. ELC almost ruins my scouting run, but I'm able to poke up, take a quick hard look, spot most of the enemy team. Dodge the only person who's in line to shoot at me. And now I don't have anything to do with this place, because that ELC is making me really nervous, because T49 does not like to be spotted, seeing as it is low on hit points and lightly armored. Anyways, most of my team has definitely gone north, so I'm not really interested in going that way, so I start falling back, trying to get away from this ELC to regain my camouflage, gain stealth. Zoom over here. Unfortunately, he got a quick poke as I came as I was popping over the top, so he's able to see me. So I come over here. It looks look like I am running towards my team. And then once I'm sure I'm out of sight here, I turn around. And I start heading southward. Uh, unfortunately, the ELC is doing his scouting job really well. As I come racing on here, thinking, "Oh gosh, I hope I get spotted." Unfortunately, that's exactly what happens. So, all right, well, that's fine. I'll just run and hide down here and hope I'll get killed by the M44. Then I look back and I go, ooh, there's a Churchill 7 over there. He luckily has his flank showing. I bet I can shoot reasonable safety from right down here. Yep, there he is. Nice flat flank shots for uh, Churchill 7. It's tough, but this is one of the few angles where the T4M's gun, even the regular ammunition, is a reasonably good chance of doing damage. So I'm just about to finish off and suddenly I realize. The DLC has decided that he is going to come play with the T-49. Do a little dodging here. Oop, he missed me. Now he's got a 12 second reload while I try desperately to get the gun in line. Oop, that looks dangerous, but he's not reloaded yet, so I shoot by him. And he's loaded now. He just needs to do that one more time to get the gun on me, but it's too late. I've managed to handle him. So here you go, T-49. Now brawls in the DLC. I try to salute him. It doesn't go very well. Come up here looking for a shot in the T25. Missed it. And now he's hidden. Well, you know, it looks like the team might have the north well in hand at the moment. And I see that there's not much going on down the south. Let's go down that way. Maybe I can sneak around behind the enemy team. So racing this way while watching the minimap worriedly. Don't want to risk losing the battle, but got to do something to try and win it. Oh, there's a Hellcat down there. It's a nice dangerous adversary for a T-34, an SU-85I, and a T-49. Look for a shot. No, there's a ridge in the way. This, the way they've reworked the southern part of this has made it much more difficult to TD mode people from over here and take them out. But it's not impossible. So race this way to try and engage with the Hellcat. This is a really dangerous move. He's got the view range to see me. And he's in a hull down spot, which means all we can see is that nasty turret with its randomly bouncy gun mantlet. Just miss him and confirm that yes, he can definitely spot us at this range. So fall back to where he can't shoot us. And when he vanishes, to say to myself, all right, he's got all the advantages here of range, accuracy, and firepower. So I got to take most of those away. The easy way to do that is to sneak up and get in close with the T-49's superior mobility and rate of fire should give it the advantage. Yep, I'm going to try and brawl on the T-49 for the second time this battle. I really wanted to come up here and just zoom over the top. But, no. Can't quite pull it off. Oh well, that's fine. I'll just come down lower here, and as close as I can get, and pop over. And there he is, just over 50 meters away. First shot misses. He frantically cranks his turret and trying to get me. Misses. Now we're in a hug mode. He wants to get that gun on me. It's a big scary gun. I'm here like, nope, 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 nope. Oh, got his engine. Set him on fire. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance now. Oh, missed him right there. Went into the turret bustle. But the gun's still facing the wrong way. And for the loss of only 18 damage to ramming, I just took out a 570 hit point tier 6 tank destroyer. Nom 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 nom. Alright, well with that taken care of, I zigzag around a bit because there's still artillery in play. But now I'm thinking, oh, let's see, what could possibly be waiting for me down here? There's probably an artillery. And there's a flak bus that's never in spot that has a kill. I bet he's sitting up on that ridge over there. And if I come right out of here, I should be just out of his effective view range. Yep, there he is. Good spot both him and the M44. Heck with the M44 for right now. Uh, that flak bus looks tasty. Safety net. 
start shooting. Starts backing away, hoping to escape. Get in a good tracking hit. Finish him off. I haven't spotted those, so I immediately go evasive. I don't want them 44 to blow me up. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, ew, he fired. He fell short. All right, well, now we know where the artillery is. That is definitely a high priority. So we're headed his way with the intent of taking him out. Meanwhile, the team has managed to definitely turn around the battle. They're starting to, they're breaking through on the north. Ooh, she knew. Very badly damaged. Easy one shot right there. Doesn't even know he was driving to my sights until it was too late. He did spot me as I killed him, though. So I fall back to an artillery safe location. Look for shots on the T-14. Not gonna happen. Pretty sure I'm off the radar now, so I come up here with the intent of trying to respot the M44. He's the last thing left alive. Hmm, how do I want to approach him? I'll pop out right here. There he is. Tough shot, but put it in. He shot lands just in front of me. Lucky me that I did not score a direct hit, because that would have been very unpleasant. And now I go racing him with the intent of finishing him off before he can reload. But an M7 manages to get a good shot in first to finish him off. And that was that. Good game and good night.